So we've talked about before how since conservatives don't actually have a policy or economic agenda for their constituents, the way that they basically throw red meat to their insane base is to perpetuate this endless culture war where they use marginalized communities as their political football. And in this instance, at least in Florida, they're using LGBTQ children as their political football. Now, I'm sure that you've heard about the Don't Say Gay bill that has been proposed in Florida, and you might think that this is an issue of censorship, and you'd be correct. This is an issue of censorship, but the consequences of this bill are much, much worse than just teachers being censored here. As Brooke Migden of The Hill reports, a Florida House committee on Thursday passed a bill seeking to ban discussions of sexuality and gender identity in school classrooms, which LGBTQ plus advocates say will effectively erase LGBTQ plus history, culture, and students. The Parental Rights and Education Bill, also known as the Don't Say Gay Bill, passed Thursday in the House Education and Employment Committee, largely along party lines. The bill is about defending the most awesome responsibility a person can have, being a parent. Florida State Representative Joe Harding, who first introduced the bill said Thursday that job can only be given to you by above Harding's bill along with its companion bill introduced Tuesday by Florida State Representative Dennis Baxley would block teachers in Florida from talking about LGBTQ plus topics that are not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students according to the bill parents may take legal action against their child's school district and be awarded damages if they believe any of its policies infringe on their fundamental right to make decisions regarding the upbringing and control of their children now, this stems from the ignorant belief that kids won't be gay if they just aren't taught to be gay. So if you can successfully hide gay people away from your child, then congratulations, you've raised a straight kid. Except it doesn't work that way. If it did, I certainly would have been straight because I was raised, for lack of a better word, to be heterosexual. My parents never said, here are your options, Mike. You can be gay or you can be straight. Never happened. It's almost like this is all instinctive and you either are gay or you aren't. But these dipshits think that you can actually condition a child to be what they naturally are not. It's, it's so ridiculous and immature. And by now, I thought that we've moved past this as a society. But Florida always ceases to surprise me in some way, usually for the worst. But think about this here, how this could uh, unnecessarily penalize a teacher. So let's say that a teacher in Florida is complying with the law. Perhaps they agree with the law. But during sex ed class, if Florida even teaches that, they might be abstinence only. I genuinely don't know. But let's say for purposes of this hypothetical that a Florida teacher is teaching their students sex ed. Well, what if one of the students who might be LGBTQ plus talks about same sex attractions that they're feeling or maybe issues with their gender identity and this teacher doesn't agree with any of that they they're anti-lgbtq but they still just talk to the kid about this if in any way they affirm that lgbtq plus identity that that child may or may not have a parent can sue them because of this fucking bill is that not insane do they not understand how this could backfire and on top of that this is a free speech issue censoring the existence of lgbtq people telling teachers what they can and can't say. I mean, I understand that states are in some way going to try to influence the curriculum, but actually saying, you can't say this, this is censorship, this is authoritarianism. But that's not even the worst part about this, because this bill will lead to LGBTQ plus people dying. And that's not hyperbole. A separate report from the Trevor Project found that LGBTQ plus youth who learned about LGBTQ plus people or issues in school had 23% lower odds of reporting a suicide attempt in the last year. Among middle and high school LGBTQ plus students, 19% had reported never learning about LGBTQ plus issues or people in school attempted suicide in the last year, compared to 16% of students who had received LGBTQ plus related lessons. Other advocates have criticized the language of one of the Florida bill's provisions, which would require educators and administrators to effectively out known LGBTQ plus students to their parents without their consent. This bill will erase young LGBTQ students across Florida, forcing many back into the closet by policing their identity and silencing important discussions about the issues they face, Sam Ames, Director of Advocacy and Government Affairs at the Trevor Project, said in a statement. LGBTQ students deserve their history and experiences to be reflected in their education just like their peers. And that's exactly correct. So, you know, the GOP in Florida here, they might actually accomplish what they're trying to accomplish with this bill. The result is to try to make sure that there are less gay kids. And this bill could very possibly do that. But it's not because they're being taught to be straight. It's because, as studies have shown, if you are exposed to LGBTQ plus history and culture, you're less likely to commit suicide. 
That is a statistically significant fact, but they don't care. And on top of that, there are other ways that this bill endangers LGBTQ plus youth. The provision where a teacher might have to out one of these children. An obligation to tell the parents that their kid is a member of the LGBTQ plus community, possibly. That is catastrophic on so many levels. Coming out is not this thing that you address flippantly. It's a very serious thing that someone who's gay or trans or non-binary has to choose to do themselves. I was outed. Now, I was an adult, thankfully, but still, that was traumatic. But being outed as a kid would have been orders of magnitude more traumatic. And I don't know that I would have been able to recover from that. I'm still recovering from me being outed today when that happened more than a decade ago. So what they're trying to do here is harm LGBTQ plus children. This is an attack on children, and they're okay with that. Why? Because what else are they going to give to their insane base? They can't deliver on economic policy. They don't offer anything to the working class, but they have these attacks on gay people. And I mean, if you're a parent, I mean, maybe you prefer straight kids, subconsciously at least. So here's your gift from the GOP. This is how they're fighting for you. It's just disgusting. And this party is authoritarian and tyrannical. And I, I don't even know what to say about this. This is just, this is a deadly bill. And these people are absolutely disgusting. Tremendous, 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 tremendous